Hello Zed here, welcome back to Inkbound. So let's go on ranked again. Wait a second. Till it loads. And then I smell the ink on you needless. Busy cleaning up the messes of other less responsible binders I gather. The inkbound, oh yes. That me mess much more than others, I suppose. Not that they uh, would be the one to ever own with that burden. And is this the same? Oh, that's poison. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's actually get this. That shouldn't be too horrible. Cedrical. On defeat, by uh, defeating an enemy, 25% to gain one will. <laughs> oh, that's your shield. Uh, some kind of power source on your turn. If your ability power is zero, gain one will. Now, oh, on 25% chance of getting one will back. Let's take that. Critical flurry. Raise range. Let's just get damage up. And can I see where I need to go? That's what killed me last time. Garden's Edge. I don't have that option. Let's go here. Tarnished Vault or the Quilling Cage? Let's see what the Tarnished Vault is, because I don't remember. Potion Supply. A Barrier Potion. And more money. And begin combat. Yeah, get these explosive things around me. Just shift through them. And just shotgun to these. And start messing them up. And just activate the barrier so I don't take damage. Yeah, these are all directly targeting me. Get all of my orbs back. Let's shift. Get both of them. Only a two. But it kills one of them. And I'm out of points. Yeah, it feels like I got a lot of attacks out that I normally wouldn't. Voice of Fortune. On your turn, 35% chance to gain one will. On your first turn, gain two will. Gain one magic power for each binding not on cooldown. Oop. These are all physical, so it's not useful. Let's just get more, uh, more will. Next two stacks of poison. 
Yeah, let's actually get the poison throw. And let's get magic up. So let's shoot up the damage of poison does. Let's chain lightning. Jinx, deal 39 plus 39 damage for each stacked dread. In a small area, lose all dread. On defeating an enemy, gain one stack of dread. Dread increases jinx damage per stack, max 10 stacks. I don't know that would work. That was really effective, the lightning. Or go, no, let's actually go with Vigorate and just go Shotgun. So let's just get the Quilling Cage, so a lot of money. Potion, what's this one? Reduce all cooldowns by 3. And the Kick Combat. What's this? Training mode. When hit, gain increased attack for the rest of combat. this thing have? Oh, it's faced. Let's actually change this to local. Hopefully that doesn't show up anymore. And this does close to no damage. Let's go invigorate. Hit both of them. And now we can deal damage. And kill him. Now it should be safe. Another one of them. That's... Oh, that was a shotgun thing. That gives me a lot of money. Three points left. If I do this, I just shift straight through them. Activate. Oh, yeah, that does a lot way more damage. That kills one of them. I actually got the chance of uh, <laughs> gaining one of the the will back on kill. Poison than the hell. The other one's too far away. Actually, can poison kill in this? Shift to it again. Invigorate and shotgun. And uh, start murdering. And 
Let's just wait. Six damage. I kill. Oh yeah, the first hit can't do anything. It's kind of a massive pain in the ass. Uh, physical damage up. Increase range. Reduce cooldown. Or just up damage again. Yeah, let's just up damage. The opponent has the capacity to purchase another. Ooh. Let's get this one. So we get a free one. Quick test. On the use, reset cooldown. Once per turn. Trick to poison per hit on the shotgun thing. Gain critical charge on a random binding. Yeah, let's just get the, the other ones. So really powerful. Strengthening dash. Gain two physical power for each enemy you pass through. Reduce will of a random binding. So the cost. On your turn, gain two shuriken. On your turn. Let's actually get this. So it's onto your next attack. Oh, I've been doing the hard ones. That's why I'm hurting. Fishing spots. Pescatarian Delight. You just got a fish. Click to use it, and using one will provide powerful boons that last until the end of your next combat. Helmet Crab. Gain 3 shielding plus at the end of combat. In combat. Now by doing this, oh, I can't shift through multiple. And I seven X uh, damage. Let's use a bigger rate and that actually up the uh, damage. Let's go a bit further back. Yeah, I can insta kill these. get here shift through three of these you just kill all three of us wow I have full full energy now that's stupidly powerful Doesn't even matter. Get that one back. Shift through. Oh, I can't seem to kill it. 
Let's go back outside of its range. Honest fault. You want magic power for each binding not on cooldown? On your first turn, inflict 4 stacks of frostbite on all enemies. What's frostbite? On being hit with the binding, do 32 magic damage and lose 1 stack. Ooh. We'll just start with a lot. It's worth a lot of magic damage. Now let's get the frosted one. Poison dash. Lose cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one. I don't think I care. That increases. Yeah, let's increase the range of the shotgun. And the poison damage up. Bleed. Deal 220 damage in an arc. Inflicts 5 stacks of bleed. Cone of frost. Deal 25 damage on the cone. Inflicts 4 stacks of bleed. Of a uh, frostbite. But chain lightning. Oh, this one's crazy. Well, that's, that's actually physical. No, oh, wait. Is this a... I'm gonna try this. But I do have a massive boost. Um, let's see. Let's get this one. The shrine. Six percent crit chance. Let's get more crit. I think it's six percent. So we're up to fourteen. Way higher damage skill capability. In combat, Jane is the Melfords. So if I do this, oh wow! Even the normal attack will just kill it. Wait on doing anything. Training mode. Let's shift through him. I can hit both. Oh, I should have done invigorate first. Let's use invigorate. Go back there. Oh, that does way more. Oh, now it's also burning. This guy seems to be way easier than the other one. That I fought before. One and two. And keep adding stacks. And just use the helmet crap. Does that do anything? Or is it... Oh, it's at the start, I'm guessing. Yeah. I should have used the... Oh, that's not the shielding one. This is a problem. Let's shift through. Boost. And shotgun him to hell and back. And kill. Ooh. Deadly dense. 
There's a medium distance inflict marked, gain one shuriken and gain a critical charge on a random binding for each enemy or ally you pass through. There's a medium distance inflict marked, deal 50 damage and fi uh, gain 5 shurikens. So I'm taking this one. Shuriken Jutsu. That's evasive. Discounting invigorate. On hitting enemies, restore 1 HP for each enemy. Yeah, there's some healing. To the Sea of Ink. That's 15 HP. Yeah, that does bleed, no burn damage. So, up magic damage. <coughs> Vengewoods, Silent Promenade, the Radiant Market. No, we're going to the Vengewood. place of rot and decay once a lush respite from the business of the athenian that since been reduced to waste if any story should serve as a herald of things to come from this blight this vengeful is sure it let's see quitting kate's superior fault and fish On your turn, a random binding cost uh, one less on will, pass at the end of combat. So it does look like it's a combat wide. So that would actually make one completely free. What's this? Snaring strike, on hit, inflict and snare, reducing movement until the end of that turn. I got hit by fast bites. Let's move. Invigorate. And murder. Normal attack, and he is completely out of range. Shift through to the both of them at the power orb. Main guy. Oh, I'm doing a lot of critical damage. That's what's happening. Oh, actually, deal damage to me if I stay there. I don't think I have a choice unless I go in and just go somewhere else. And wait. And now he's poisoned. Go here. Then hit three of them. Use the power warp. And shotgun all three of them. Figure eight and hit. I couldn't prevent that. Let's 
stash, shotgun, and murder. I'm losing all shields, but I'm not a shield build again. Gain two physical power for each binding on cooldown. On the first turn, gain one will and five magic power at the end of the turn. Until the end of the turn. But well, that's only at the start. But I do get two points on magic by getting that. This should do way more poison damage. Yeah, let's actually take it then. Or. Oh, these all. No, these are all physical. Only the poison isn't. Let's switch it up. Uh, spike damage, crit chance. Restore 12 HP. No, I want more crit chance. Yeah, gain one shield for each enemy hit. On passing through allies or enemies, gain one shield. Shielding dash. Yeah, now we're getting shields. Let's go the story one. Potion of power. Let's just use that. A lost quill. A quill lights the darkness in the sea of ink and the shattered stories within it. The quill zips between the stories, looking for its binder counterpart. But the zipping becomes a crawl, and the little light shows signs of discouragement. Perhaps some reminder of that binder could help them to rediscover their drive. Do you offer the lost quill anything? In 25 HP and despair. What is despair? Increase. Incoming damage by 20%. Give them money and I get full health back. That's probably the save one. Minus 2 glyphs plus 10 HP. Now let's just go with the full restore. Ooh, it only faults. No oh, wait, that's a vault. I don't have a key. I remember that he need a, a key for that. Let's go with the normal one. Oh, glass cannon. Does way more damage. Let's shift through both of them. So now we gain shields. That was dead. What up? And kill him. I don't have the range. Also, they can't hit me, so... It actually adds ability power. Uh, let's just wait. Let's go to this power orb. And I'm out of points. That hurts. Oh, they can die from poison. I was wondering about that. Oh, this is a. This is horrible. Uh, shift through. Power orb. Boost.
and another power orb. Let's get to this location. Let's go in here. Should be out of his range. And I should be able to move further back. And wait. And snat. Oh, I can't use it. Augment. Flick shatter. Receive 20% incoming physical damage. Oh, that's a straight up restore. Oh no, we're getting quick dash. And ability power up. Unstable brew. Ooh. Yeah, let's drop that one. <clears throat> so deal 66 damage to enemies, deal 108 damage to enemies at max range, plus 15 crit chance, deal 84 damage to a single enemy, Plus 15 crit chance your enemy your attacks bounce to no nearby enemies. Well, let's get Rick, uh, Ricochet. That seems to be kind of broken. And let's go to Carver's Refuge. Let's heal up. On your turn, inflict one stack of shock to all enemies. Wait, on your turn? Uh, on being hit, gain a small amount of quillings. Gain two physical power for each binding on cooldown. Now I'm taking this, shocked. The enemy and all other shocked enemies are dealt 50% of that damage. Uh, oh, I have a lot of money. I don't care for that one. Frozen Heart on being hit inflicts 5 stacks of Frostbite. On being hit, gain 1 will on the next turn once per turn. No, we're taking Frostbite. And now we actually have all of the uh, items we can get. Heroic Vault, Spirit Vault. Let's just get a normal difficulty one. Heal them. Oh, yeah, that's useful. Not do that. 
invigorate and I didn't look how much will I had and let's teleport through them again One. Let's do this and start doing this. This is a lot of ricochet. That does do damage to me. Power orb. Let's do this and shift through this again. And let's just start murdering. Oh, I'm still in range. Oh, that hurts. Invigorate, power orb, shift through, use your shotty, let's start poisoning him to death. And he's dead. Oh, collecting or flick inflict burn on gaining a shield, gain one stack of shattered will. Oh. No, I'm taking this. What do I get rid of? On defeating an enemy, 25% chance to gain a will. On your turn, let's switch that out. Uh, more crit chance. They okay, won't shoot for each enemy hit. Restore 2 HP on Invigorate. That's probably better. Get some healing. Because I'm still dying. Oh, uh, let's. Yeah, the shop is not worth it at the moment. Let's restore HP. Thought so. That's the boss battle. Lost the blight bag. Let's just trigger that and that. Shift through, shift through. Start poisoning. And let's get invigorate. So I got let's shift to that. First kill. And that should be second kill. Blast him and wait. 
Okay, he's taking damage. Invigorate. Shotgun approach. What's that? Immune to bindings on and damage until next turn. Oh, I can't do anything against him. Wait. That one. It does. Gains a shield. But that will reduce my damage. Let's do it once. Poison him. Oh, heal them. Let's take that one. Get behind him. Invigorate. And shotgun. I think it's murder time. So through this one. All the work. There we go. Poison outburst. Deal 12 damage and flick 10 stacks of poison, then consume your shuriken and at least them forward. Each dealing 12 damage and flicking 10 stacks of poison. Deal 60 damage, then consume your shuriken and at least them forward. Each dealing 60 damage. If you defeat an enemy, gain 3 shuriken and ruku. Reset cooldown to 1. No, I'm taking this. Like, if you get lethal on that, you can keep using it. And there's discount flurry. This will make it free. I can make this one. Oh, let's get this. Discount flurry? So it's free to use. Shadow's Lair. Familiar sight of On, which in the vast expanse of the Sea of Ink bleeds together with the fragments of story this villain hails from to create an altogether unsettling place. The villain's lair, a dank and mutilated place, coupled together by the sheer power of the Unbound, residing in some unknown section of the sea. There is no story here, no intent, only chaos. Anything else in here? Nope. Epic augment and ancient vault. Box of ink. Each turn increase attack and shield of all enemies, then create a new minion. Uh. Oh, shift through. And shotgun. And if I kill one, I gain my energy back. Let's regain. Try to hurt him as much as I can. 
We figured out. I just go outside of his range. And that was not enough to kill him. Oh, I'm in the goop. That just kills one of them. And if I don't get outside of that range, there's no way I will survive this. And inflict a bunch of poison. Let's just kill that guy. If they're this side, get the power orb. Just get all of them. Yeah, that's hilarious. You can just keep using that. Uh, let's invigorate. And just start messing them up. And that's all we can do. The tomb shot got him and just start bleeding him. And kill. All the wisdom. That's crit. Let's actually get some crit damage. I think I'm constantly critting. Ooh. When the binding has a critical choice, deal this percentage amount of bonus damage. On your turn, smite all enemies. The what? Incoming, reduce incoming damage. Now this one's stupid. On your turn, smite all enemies. That's 75 damage. It was legendary, but that's crazy. That's on being hit. Oh, that's on your first turn. That does help, but let's get rid of it. All I have now is way more powerful. The shuriken deal 10 uh, plus 10 damage. Reduce cooldown of your bindings. Or reduce cost. I don't think I care for cost. But plus 10 damage goes a long way. Got his refuge. Let's heal up. Back already? Guess that unbound is losing their touch. Oh, did a new name for you? Well, ink's out of the pen now, needless. Your big bad's got a name. <laughs> and a pretty stupid one at that. Well, be buying or be moving, needless. Got enough to do without your gold. That's a shop. Oh, these are all way too expensive. Another one of these. Oh yeah, I can buy them. Ghost of the Silent City. Got see. I think this is the final boss. What's this? Reduces all income damage by 80%, force the hand to hit the head to greatly increase the damage it takes. So I need to hit one of these into it. Let's invigorate.
And I hit both. Oh, I didn't hit that one. Didn't select it. You massive pain in the ass. Oh, poison type. That's gonna hurt. Yes, like global damage. What the? Pretty sure I'm dead. This. That's still not enough to kill it. Yourself. Those. And that reduced the damage quite a bit. Not start hurting these. Invigorate. And I'm out of points. And I'm dead. Yeah, you hurts. Oh wow, I have several levels on this. So what does this do? Oh, an emote. Uh, let's go back. At least I got to the boss this time. You are noticeably uh, drier than someone with your propensity for diving into the inkwell time and time again. Have you finally realized your inconsequential role within this struggle? Or, Ink Save Me, have you finally learned some manners? Perhaps there is hope for you yet, Eblis. The Tinkerer. If you need something tinkered with, let me know. But since I uh, know you don't, leave me alone. The Spooler. Oh, it is wonderful to be back here. It's been too long since we've smelt fresh ink and musty parchment. Hey, brother. Oh, he's a quiet one, he is. Which means I'm left to run my mouth, but I'm not complaining. Oh, ho, ho. Well, I assume it's all the bright little bubbles that brought you over. Can't say I blame you, though it's kind of the point. I'm sorry. There I was, going on about forms and aspects, and you likely have no inkling clue what they are. Well, your form is your look, of course. You look great already, I'll admit, but there's no shame in ever wanting to mix things up. Aspects, though, they're the real thrillers, distilled essences of lost binders. You might not be able to create new bindings on your own, Needless, but these aspects will give you a class of bindings uniquely suited to whatever dangers you're facing. I know it's a bit hard to understand just by talking about it, so go ahead and take a peek at that aspect apparatus and reform enclosure over there. Reform enclosure? What's it talking about? This thing. Oh, this is just the uh, change your. Uh, You're causing appearance. quite a stir in here, needless. Haven't seen this much commotion since the Inkbound decided to shut themselves in. Man, you should have seen old Greybeard. He went all first age on everyone. 
silent but brutal. Well, some call me the Troubadour, but my friends call me Sundance. You can call me either, depending on how you're feeling about me at the time. Got the name since folks like to hear me play music from time to time. Been a bit hard to do without my old girl Petunia, though. You find her lying around, you bring her straight back, you hear? The shelves are lined with books of all sizes and materials. Gilded leather tomes stamped with dry facts of history. Feathery parchments filled with flowery script. Poetry ready to evaporate with a stiff breath. But all of them share the same sickness. Their pages are fading. The words within them becoming shadows of a memory of a story. Lots of potential, right? Lots of power, too, in the right hands. Now, I can't just go inscribing new aspects on just anyone, even if I did have them. Got to know they can handle it first, so if you can show me you're worth the ink, I'll make sure those aspects are right and ready. Well, that attitude sure is a good start, but you'll be needing to prove it to more than just me. Go on, see if you can wrangle those missing aspects from the others. I don't see anything I need to go through. It doesn't look like. But yeah, that's it for this episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.